is Ashley Marshall from Rev Tutor. Today we're talking about using the whistle effectively. The referee's whistle is their primary voice on the field of play, and you need to know how to use your voice effectively in different situations. Which tones to use? How many whistle blasts to use? We're going to try to cover all of your questions in one video here today. You'll notice, first of all, that I've got different whistles here with me. These whistles have different tones. The reason I have two different types of whistles is just in case I'm in a field that has another pitch adjacent to it and the other referee has a whistle that's the same as my favorite whistle. I can switch and use this so the players in the two fields don't get confused as to which referee is blowing their whistle. You'll also know that I don't have a lanyard around my wrist. Wrist lanyards are okay and you're going to have to experiment to see which style suits you, but you most definitely do not want to have any sort of lanyard around your neck. That poses a great danger to you if your hand or a player's hand gets caught in it. Remember, nothing around your neck, ever. Depending on what's happening on the field, you're going to want to communicate with a different volume or a different tone. Let's say that you're giving a penalty kick in the last minute of a cup game and issuing a red card. That whistle tone is a lot different than if you're just trying to indicate to players that the ball has gone out of play for a throw-in and they haven't yet realized it. And a signal. And so, you're going to need to practice, practice, practice. Now I would suggest that this is not something that you do in your house to annoy your family, but go to a local park and be as loud as you want. I would also suggest that you go to a local park to watch a game in progress and see how an experienced referee uses their whistle to communicate different things at different times. The number of whistle blasts also changes depending on the situation. A lot of times, like those whistle blasts I just gave, you're using a single whistle. But at other times you might need to use a double whistle blast. Let's say, for example, that you're indicating that a substitution can take place. You might go short blast and long blast. But in other situations, say there's a mass confrontation, you might need to use multiple whistle blasts to communicate with sort of a different type of authority. You'll need to practice putting your tongue against the mouth of the whistle. The key is to blow really hard and then just move your tongue off of the whistle. That gives the multiple sounds. I'll let you hear it again. Tongue against the whistle, blow hard, and then move the tongue to let the sound escape as you need it. Be sure to practice using your voice and learning how to use different tones and different types of blasts in different situations and make sure that you have a good game, ref. I'm Ashley Marshall from Ref Tutor. I hope that you enjoyed the video and had an opportunity to like it and add your comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out my blog at www.reftutor.org.